Good evening, Clarion. I'm Bree Lehman with your Wednesday night sports report. Hannah Heater had a killer night that led the Golden Eagles women's volleyball team to a 3-0 victory over Slippery Rock last night. In the first game, Clarion used runs of 7-0 and 6-1 to win the first set 25-21. They then took the second set to another close game 25-22. The Eagles used another big 8-1 run in the third set to win 25-19, thus sweeping the match. Hannah Heater had 13 kills and Carly Bernowski added 10 kills and 4 digs. Rebecca Webb had 7 kills while Laura Subject ran the offense with 40 set assists and added 10 digs. With her 40 set assists, Subject becomes the ninth different player in school history with 900 in a season. The Golden Eagles return to action at Mercyhurst on Friday and return home to host Wheeling Jesuit at 4 p.m. on Saturday. After the fourth worst season in Marlins history, the Miami-based team announced the firing of manager Ozzy Guillen. Guillen was fired after only one year with the team, despite having a four-year contract. This season, the Marlins had a record of 69-93 and for a win percentage of a mere .426. The losing season is not the only reason behind the firing. In April, Guillen made comments of praise about Fidel Castro, Cuba's former leader, which caused uproar in the Marlins fan base due to the high population of Cuban Americans living in Miami. President of Baseball Operations Larry Beanfest said that the situation, quote, it was not positive for the team. Guillen's replacement with the team will be the fifth manager for the Marlins since early 2010. The New York Islanders announced today that they are moving to the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, beginning with the 2015-2016 season. The Islanders have signed a 25-year lease to play at the State of the Art Arena, which opened in late September. The team also announced that they will keep their team name and logo intact. The Islanders will join the Nets of the NBA at the new arena as they are leaving behind the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Uniondale, New York, which is located about 30 miles from Brooklyn. The Coliseum is the second oldest and second smallest arena in the NHL. However, Barclays Center reportedly has a seating capacity of 14,500 for hockey, which will make it the smallest arena in the NHL. The Islanders were set to test out their new home in a preseason matchup against the New Jersey Devils, but the game was canceled due to the NHL lockout. That's all for sports. Let's send it back to the news desk. Well, Bree, it's good to know that the volleyball team got back on track. Oh, absolutely. It was a great game. Hannah Heater had a very solid bounce back from her slightly disappointing weekend that she had. So it was great to see the volleyball team get her back on track. Well, thanks, Bree. Thanks, Bree.